Hey guys, my name is Rachel and this is my brother. Mitchell. <laughs> and um, we're filming another video together. Um, you guys submitted questions and so we're going to go ahead and answer them. You submitted questions under the hashtag RachelQA. And so we're going to answer both the ones from last December and the ones you guys just submitted. So let's get started. Okay, first question. Has your brother read all of your Wattpad books, or at least some? If so, what is his favorite book or character? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> I support her in the, in all of the, her work she does. I always try to promote the work she does because she is a great writer. And I, yeah, she's my sister. I love her. So I, I promote everything she does. But from my style of reading and what I like to read, you know, she, she writes what she likes to write and I read what I like to read. I, I feel like that's just what we uh makes sense. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. What do you like or hate about each other? <laughs> Start off with hate. <laughs> um it's not a lot of qualities at all. It's not I don't really like about. Mitchell's like music choices. <laughs> yeah. I could say the same that. <laughs> <laughs> but then again it's even though we don't like each other's music, we, we sit in the car and it's always an agreement. You know, you always have to, you always find some middle level mm -hmm. to deal with. So I, I couldn't say there's anything. There's nothing I hate about you. There's nothing I could hate. I don't hate anything about you. Your music choices. <laughs> I hate that you live in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hate. <laughs> but no, we get along pretty well compared to other. Uh, I like his choices in hats because I take them Just all the time. I hate that you steal my hats. <laughs> <laughs> About that. <laughs> Do you have any funny childhood stories of each other? So we did this one last time, and I told the story of a bear. I don't know if I have another funny childhood story. I have one. I don't remember this, but it's, oh, I know it's what it's going to say. <laughs> Funniest thing I was. Where I was crawling? Was I crawling at the end? I was yeah, you were just crawling. starting to crawl. And she had this little like little kid roller coaster, this like little cart. And I had she waited till I crawled right in front of the roller coaster. And, and then, then he she stopped went down. and he laid down. I mean you remember that. <laughs> I was told yeah. he stopped and he just laid down at the bottom like she prime waited, opportunity. She <laughs> waited till I got in front of the roller coaster to go down and run me over. <laughs> That's what big sisters are for. <laughs> Uh, anything else? Jeez. Uh, um, we, our lamppost is messed up. We have a nice little lamppost. Uh, what was it, the first year we were in the house? First, like, we live week. on this, you know, first week we live on this big hill and we were riding our bikes down the hill and she's coming zooming down the hill. I don't know, you could figure out the brakes <laughs> or not, but <laughs> I didn't know. Bam, right into the lamppost. So, That's how I chip my front teeth. That's how we lost a lamppost. It so works. <laughs> it falls off every day. It does. <laughs> um, uh, we used to play this game, and you go like this when the, at the start of every hour. So you go like this, and you go, banana, pew, pew. <laughs> and then you're dead. Wow. You got to be the first to do it, though, so whoever remembers. Like, I just remembered. It's 4.30. He's dead till 5. Jeez. We used to play a game in the pool okay. called Lifeguard. This is with my cousins, too. And me and my cousin Amy, we would slide down the slide. And Mitchell and my cousin Jason would be sitting in the hot tub and be like, help us, lifeguard, help us. And then Mitchell and Jason would have to jump in and save us. <laughs> and we did that for hours. <laughs> uh, memory of, the memory of me, we used to have this. We, when we were the first, neighbor, the first house in the neighborhood, there was no one else. And there's this giant dirt mound in the back of our house. And um, so, genuinely, I was riding my... I, I figured, you know, hey, cool jump. <laughs> I ride my, my bike down the hill, flying down the hill, figured I could jump this dirt mound. Well, it was pretty... It was a pretty big dirt mound. So when I came down, I got to the top, and it, my heart stopped. So I hit the brakes and went right <laughs> down the front of the hill, tumbled down on top of my bike with my bike coming on top of me and it ended up uh brutal <laughs> <laughs> and stupid i took all the pumpkin seeds and tried to plant pumpkins in the backyard 
Dad. That's right. I'm happy about that. He took all the pumpkin <laughs> seeds out of the pumpkin and buried them in the backyard. I'll a batch for myself. <laughs> Pumpkins didn't grow though. That's no. disappointing. No, they did not. <laughs> At least. <laughs> I think Dad went back there and sprayed it all, probably. <laughs> Dad was like, no pumpkins in my backyard. <laughs> I just make a bunch of them. I don't remember why. But I remember this life. one time my dad picked us up from camp early and it was like slip and slide day. And it was like, don't talk to me, Dad. I'm so mad at you. And he went to Walmart and bought us a slip and slide. And so me and Mitch, like, you slid down. That was the only day we ever used that stupid slip and slide. But we used it all day. And it had, like, little bowling pins. And you were, like, the human bowling oh, ball. Yeah. And you slid down. and uh, That's a fun memory. We had a good job. We did. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks yeah, for that fun. question. <laughs> Shout out to K-Wubs for the question. White and gold or blue and black? It was blue and black. It was white and gold. Are you just saying that to say the opposite? No, it was white and gold. Like I never saw blue and black. I hate this discussion. <laughs> Since the first video, have you guys gotten where you want to be or have your goals changed? I don't what remember my, my goals. goals? In the beginning? Um, well, I'm at it. I moved out. So I'm at UCF now. I'll be graduating in a few months. So those are some goals. I remember my first year at college. Uh, We're so old. <laughs> it's been going good. I, I guess my whole perspective has changed. I guess I ought to go back and watch the first video. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that was, that was a long time ago. What year was that? That was two years ago. Wow. Yeah, my goals have changed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't say my goals. My goals haven't changed, just my perspective on everything has changed. Yeah, that's true. You get older, you, you see things in a different way. Try to cope with life. <laughs> My goals have changed. Like, I don't want to be the same career. I want to be a different person. True. Well, I, besides being able to write, what other talent do you guys have? I don't write. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, that sucks for you. <laughs> <laughs> I made a scrapbook yeah. once. Um, <laughs> um, I can do a handstand in the pool. I don't know. What talent do we have? Uh, I don't know. We're talented people. Like, <laughs> what do we? What do we? What do we do? You're talented in writing and. Uh, you're talented in art? To an extent. <laughs> I just need to start doing it again. So be that's what we I like. Both kind of artistic. Mm -hmm. You're artistic in words. And artistic in painting and pictures. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> that was so deep. <laughs> that's it. That's all the talent I got. Edge. <laughs> Okay. Has your brother or anyone in your family read your books? So no, my brother doesn't read my books. But uh, sounds so horrible. Like when you say it, you, say, you don't even like me. <laughs> <laughs> that just goes back to what we said earlier. Yeah, but my grandma does. Actually, she she called me last night to ask me where my new. She knew I was posting a new book, so she called me to ask me where it was. Because I didn't post it on the day I said I was going to. I was like, Grandma, I'm sorry. <laughs> she yelled at me. Um, I yeah. Getting, I was getting ready to read it. <laughs> <laughs> My aunts and uncles do. We talked about it on Thanksgiving. What celebrity would you choose to be your dream sibling? Celebrity, celebrity would be my dream sibling. I can't be someone that I have a crush on. That's yeah. weird. <laughs> that would be strange. Nick uh, Jonas? No. <laughs> who do I want to be my sibling? Hmm, not the Kardashians. That's too much. Mm. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say Gronk, but... <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fun sibling. Too fun. <laughs> too fun of a sibling. <laughs> um, I want to get involved in the Brady family. Like, the Tom Brady's family, so I can go to his mansion. 
So, like, his wife, maybe, like, any of her sisters, I could have as a sibling, not, like, not them themselves, but, like, any of their family members, I could have as a sibling, and then I'd go to the Brady Mansion. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's a difficult question. I, I don't really know. I don't really follow any celebrities. What do you and your brother fight about, mostly? Um... Who gets to use the radio? Oh, yeah, the aux cord. Can turn That's, a little serious. That is the, the main argument. <laughs> uh, uh, the Walking Dead on Sunday nights, if it interferes with something night, else. Sunday night TV is a mm -hmm. continuous fight. Because <laughs> he likes The Walking Dead. It's my show on every Sunday. <laughs> she knows this. So on Sunday night at 9 o'clock, <laughs> it's going to be on. Sorry. <laughs> but sometimes the Patriots are playing. Yeah, and there's another TV in the house to watch it at. <laughs> Anyways, that's our main <laughs> argument, as you can tell. Sunday nights, if I'm home. And you would want to give the whole TV to your sister, because she's not home. Do you not have a TV at your place? Not one in my bedroom. You want to use my TV? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> you don't want to. Okay. I guess that's something we argue about, politics. Not very often. We agree on a lot. We agree on a lot, but just something we don't agree with. We have a good debate, like, mm -hmm. like all I see open ended mostly. <laughs> I'm pretty hard headed, so I'm like, yeah. we get some. <laughs> I mean, I'm not one that often debates on politics, just because I don't see the point. But um, me and Mitch can get I like into it because one, I know that I can our relationship is going to remain the same even if we don't agree. And two, Mitchell is a good debater. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very stubborn, and he's very stubborn. So we have We're some good debates. Good. Like I guess that's a ta I could call that a time very, very strong when we debate. Very open um, to our points and getting getting our message across mm -hmm. and supporting our details. So yeah, what's your favorite holiday memory? Holiday memory? Mm -hmm. It can be any holiday. Oof. Uh, I was just talking about this, actually. My favorite all-time holiday is Christmas. And let's see. Me and Mitchell used to do this thing called Advent Workshop every year. And we'd go and we'd make crafts. If you look at our Christmas tree, half of it is handmade by us, all the ornaments. But we made a lot of those at Advent Workshop. And then after we made crafts, we would go, the four of us as a family, and we would sing Christmas carols and have a homemade like chili dinner, I think it was. I don't like chili. I don't know what else they had. Chicken tenders. I didn't like chili at the time, but I love chili now. But yeah, we'd eat chicken tenders. And um, there was this one where we did the 12 days of Christmas, and there were 12 tables, and each table was like a different day. And you had to like come up with your day in a unique way. And I remember one year we were the three French hens, so we put napkins <laughs> on our head because <laughs> we were hens. I don't know. It's just memories like that. I guess my, my favorite holiday is Halloween. And always, the yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just <laughs> like, like, like scary movies. Like, I'll go see. I'll always rent the scary movies. <laughs> I just remember that when we went to that, um, we were walking uh, in the neighborhood over and we went to that haunted house. Mm -hmm. And the guy had in his garage. Yeah. And, you know, it was, like, scary through the haunted house, yeah. But the scariest part was when you exited and you grabbed your candy. And there was, it was, like, it looked like a mannequin holding the candy. But, no, nah, it was a dude. <laughs> it made me jump <laughs> out of my heart. <laughs> Do you remember that? I couldn't say it was my favorite holiday memory, but that's just the one that sticks out, I guess. Do you remember that door we would walk up to and it looked like it was just like a scarecrow dude sitting there, but he was an yes. actual guy? Yes, the same neighborhood. Yes, that neighborhood is crazy. We were little too, like, <laughs> why are you trying to scare some little kids? He like, we were just walking up to the door and it doesn't look like a real person and he jumped out at us. And then we went back and then the came, guy came around the corner. <laughs> so you're trapped, like, death was upon you. <laughs> oh, it was bad. Uh, oh, another favorite thing about mine of Christmas is decorating the tree. So yeah, we always had a. I I guess that that'd be the my favorite holiday memory. We all we always had that tradition. Decorating the tree. Yeah, always come together. We always used to have that tradition until we had homework on those days. So, so yeah, decorate um, a tree or past class. 
Like I <laughs> turn on holiday music. I like Amy Grant's CD, A Christmas to Remember, or um, lately Pentatonix, and then we decorate the tree. Hang the garland. My dad does the lights. It's a lot of work, but we hang the garland with ornaments on. Christmas Eve is always a good night. Uh, that's a tradition for us. We always host Christmas Eve. We always have every year, ever since we were little, nor I. We have we have a map of the United States, not the United States, but the world. Mm -hmm. And every year we would go and we would. Uh, <laughs> my dad was <laughs> my dad was so into this. My dad, <laughs> he was more into it than us. <laughs> <laughs> but we would we would track Santa, and every time we, we went to a new place, we would mark it on the map with a sticky note. And he had to go to bed before he came here. Always. That is very important. And then um, people, we have like 30 plus people in our house on Christmas Eve. And it's like... It's a packed house. It's a packed house. And it's such a great time because one, it's people you don't always get to see. And then two, it's just a lot of fun being surrounded by people. It's good that, that no matter what's going on, you know, a lot of people are um, divided right now. Dealing with things? Dealing, yeah, dealing with things. So when you have... A situation where all your family can come together and forget about the hardships going on in their lives and the stuff we all go through and the stuff we're dealing with and just have a night to where it's just all of us together and nothing matters except for that mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's special it's something to live for that's deep what is your favorite thing to eat at Thanksgiving ham mac and cheese I don't like turkey Dark meat turkey. I prefer ham either way. Like, I like dark meat turkey, yeah, but... He's a weirdo. Uh, you eat mac and cheese. That's not even Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's just year-round. My mom thing makes homemade mac and cheese, and That's it is good. so good. It's really good. And I guess there was one holiday, I don't remember what it was, that she said she... Oh, it was New Year's. No, it was the Super Bowl. This past Super Bowl, she was like, I'm not making the mac and cheese. Like, I have other things I'm making. I went to the store, bought the ingredients, and brought them to her. And I was like, here, make me mac and cheese. Wow. <laughs> I love mac and cheese. So, yeah, that's my Thanksgiving food. Have you ever taken your brother's sweatshirts or clothes and worn them? Yeah. All the time. <laughs> Hats. Jackets. They're like, you can't fit. Like, like My pants are like longer because you're short, so. <laughs> no, I don't think like his pants and things, but yeah, his sweatshirts, his hats. All the time. I take Everything. them. They're really comfy. What does he need yeah, all of really, them for? Yeah, it's comfy. <laughs> well, I just got new, brand new hats, so I didn't buy them. <laughs> Mitchell considers. I didn't steal them. Let's, <laughs> let's not. Yeah, that, that didn't sound too good. I did not steal it. Mitchell considers whatever is left in his car is his. If you're going to leave you something in your car and you're never going to bring it up, and I, I, I'll, I'll say something. like I'll leave it in there I'll, and I'll wear it in front of you. And if you never say something, then it's not yours anymore, I guess. <laughs> I'm okay with it because I get It's not stuff. mine, but I'm not going to just. I don't know whose it is. I have people in my car. Like, <laughs> like sometimes, like three people. So. How the hell am I supposed to know? I'm not going to call everyone up. Bro, you leave your hat in my car? <laughs> you left your hat, you left your hat. Call me up and say you left your hat. For now, I'm going to wear it. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's your least favorite chore to do at home? Well, I don't live here. But when I did live here, uh, my chore is to clean the bathrooms. So there you go. Actually, I prefer cleaning the bathrooms. I don't know why you don't like cleaning that thing. Cleaning that thing is easy. Well, that was compared my to well, I I wouldn't say compared to vacuum because now vacuuming it's just time consuming. Mm -hmm. it takes forever. I need to move everything out of the way. All that crap. But yeah, in my apartment, my least favorite chore would be like actually cleaning my own room. I literally yeah. hate I hate putting away laundry. That's it. Like. If you walk in my room, it's just laundry everywhere because I hate putting it away. I don't mind, like, I used to hate it, and now I don't mind, like, putting away laundry. I hate washing it. 
It's such a hassle to take it from. <laughs> it, it really, and then and then you gotta wash it all, and then you gotta put it in the dryer, and then, so that's like two and a half hours of your day. It's great washing this dry. You don't have to watch it, but then you gotta make sure you're <laughs> home. I'm not home that long. I, I got stuff I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> favorite song at the moment or genre to listen to Christmas music favorite song at the moment Christmas no I don't like when she turns on Christmas music another thing I hate bah humbug <laughs> that's what I got to say <laughs> it's not that I don't like Christmas it's that I don't I enjoy my own music uh, like Christmas I like uh, I'm really into this Schoolboy Q's new album Blank face. There's a lot of real stuff that people don't realize. So. Jimmy Buffett came out with a Christmas album. Jimmy Buffett came with it. New? Artists that you yeah, like come listen, out with I'll Christmas to, albums. Yeah, if you want to play Jimmy Buffett Christmas, I'll listen to Jimmy Buffett Christmas. Okay, I will. Favorite song right now, The Distance Cake. Buy Cake. That is... Cake. I've been rocking that song. Oh, no, not that song. King Loves War. It's a good one. And display that one. Basically, if you're in Mitchell's car, you don't get control of the ox. But if no. he's in your car, he you better let him have the ox. Yep. <laughs> That's our biggest argument. That and Sunday nights. <laughs> what does your brother like to read? Oh, hold on. Please put this in the video. They, nah. They added that. <laughs> <laughs> what do I like to read? Is it weird that I like documentaries? No. I mean, I guess that's not reading, but in a reading sense, I, I like information reading. Uh, I like learning. I, I just like learning about stuff. That's that's new, though. I was never really into reading all through my childhood, ever. I just, I don't know if you're taught it, but it's like <laughs> you develop that sitting that reading's not cool, and I guess I just followed it stupidly. But then you finally figured out, hey, this thing called reading. It's actually fun. <laughs> it's actually interesting. Reading's cool, kids. Um, I, li I like reading books about like real life stuff. Uh, I don't really like fiction, fiction at all. Just because... Um, I mean, I shouldn't say fiction. I should just, it's not like I'm reading non-fiction. I just like reading... Um, true... Not, not, you know what I mean? About mm -hmm. real life situations. Yeah. And also, you know, start, starting to get into, like, um, books about motivation and power and your mind. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm weird. So. Yeah, weird. Normal people are like, I like, uh, <laughs> I like young Potter. adult contemporary. <laughs> I don't know the genre. <laughs> what? I just, just get the book and read it. I'm about to start this book. My dad gave me, um. Like Dr. Wayne Dyer. The, it's it's the, the one about your mom. Power, the power of motivation. Mm -hmm. yeah, power of motivation. Go check it out. Dr. Wayne Dyer. All of his books. Very inspirational. Do you guys enjoy spending time with each other? Please, please, please put this in the video. Jeez. Well, I mean, if to... you insist. Actually, I hate spending time with him. Yeah, it's awful. Doing this video has been torture. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I we we do a lot of things together. We have know. wet and wild passes. We bought wet and wild passes together. We gotta go. Again. Yeah. Before they we close. Went once. <laughs> We're losers. We bought these passes for like a year. A year. <laughs> yeah, the rest <laughs> of the year. We went. We had to, we found time to do one time. Or well, I think our lives started to really take effect. Mm-hmm. I've been working a lot. Shout out to Chick Fil A. I work at Chick Fil A now. Life changer. Uh, yeah. Um, you live in Orlando. It gets it gets hard to hang out, but when we do, it's like I guess it it, it makes it that much more uh, special. Yeah, that much more special. Yeah. Thank, thank you for that word. <laughs> so yeah, no, I agree. Um, it is hard to hang out when I live an hour 15, an hour 30 minutes away. But when we do, we make the most of it. Um, we have dinner dates. We have lunch dates. Um, it's probably my favorite thing because we just sit and talk. We catch up. 
Yeah, figure out what's going on. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's it's hard to do it over the phone just because you might be involved with something else and you're, like, trying to listen, but you're trying to do that other thing that you're involved with. So when you really sit down with someone, it's like there's yeah. your devoted attention. Because you're, yeah, you're devoting. It's like you always call when they're always doing something. Like, hey, I'm watching that 70 test. show. Hey, I'm, wa- I'm watching the <laughs> show every day. Every day is that call. <laughs> uh no, it's most of the time me. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like you... you I don't you, work you anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But, <laughs> but a lot of times you call and I'm always... Yeah, I don't have class on Mondays or Fridays. So I'll like call him randomly during the day and he's like, hey, I'm in class. I'm like, oh, so have fun. She doesn't realize the time I'm in class like after every time <laughs> on the same day. So, I don't yeah. have class. <laughs> I'm like eating breakfast. I'm like, hey, but I'm still call answer. Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, I he still does. walk out of class to answer. Like, he's like, this. is this important? I'm like, I'm calling you about Christmas presents. <laughs> and he's like, I'm in class. <laughs> uh, well, we get so off topic. We always get so off topic. I don't even remember the question. Oh, do we enjoy spending time together? No. Hi. I hope you're doing okay. So my question is, how do you find inspiration for your writing, and how often does that inspiration? Um, well, it had a lot of eyes, so I said, hi, because that's how I thought you would say that. True. I'll give you that. <laughs> so, um, I have to look at the question again now. Okay. Um, so, this I always get flustered with this question because I'm like, I feel like people aren't going to understand my answer, but it's kind of just like everyday situations. Like I might rewatch this video later and I'm like, that would make such a good storyline. Like that one snippet of conversation that we had. Or I might like be in class and um, I might be sitting there and my professor might do something out of ordinary. I'm like, what if my character was sitting in class? Like how would she react to this? And it might like inspire a scene. So it's just like things that I do on a daily basis, and I never stop thinking about wow. writing. <laughs> that's really awesome. So yeah, that's where I get my inspiration. And then um, I, to go along with this question, um, I don't know if you meant it like this, but I'm going to answer it anyways. Um, I, my inspiration is often found like when I have writer's block, my inspiration is often found outside of my home. So I do all of my writing inside my apartment, on my couch, on my bed, wherever I can. Um, but if I'm like, you know what, this is not working for me, I leave. I go to Starbucks. I go to UCF. I go to anywhere that is not inside my apartment or this house. Just so that I can get a new perspective. Because oftentimes you'll find that it's so much easier. Like when you're not, you don't feel like you're stuck in a box. Because, like, when you start writing in the same place at the same time every day, it can start to feel like a job. And inspiration does not come from that. No. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's cool. Thanks. All right, well, I don't know how you end this. Thanks for (laughs) tuning into the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, If you want more like this, then be sure to click like. And comment below. Tell us what you liked. Tell us maybe what you didn't like. I hope that's nothing. Um, Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. This is Rachel and Mitch. See you later. <laughs>
<laughs> he I became, takes pictures, I became, reading. I became a reader now. <laughs> <laughs> what celebrity... Thanks for shaking the video camera. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift. Yeah, I'll pass on that one, too. Mm. She's crazy. <laughs> Are they gonna come after me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> we got your number, it Mitchell. Just, it was this Mitchell kidding. Like, uh. Oh my <laughs> God! Someone asked me who I'm voting for in the upcoming president polls. I no, <laughs> we don't talk politics. Um, Try think of holidays. <laughs> like what holidays? There's Easter. Been through. I know what uh, holidays there are. I'm just trying to think. According of to favorite. Avery, your birthday is a holiday. I could say that on a holiday for me. But I kind of cheat when, we, when I think about things. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes if, it, if the count is clean enough, I just kind of wipe it down real quick and move everything. <laughs> Pick up real quick. Oop. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah. <laughs> Heard it here first. I'm the better bathroom my cleaner. Mom watch this. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to start watching me. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta hang it all up to that. They it's need a washer like, and dryer that's all in one. No. Yeah, it like washes your clothes and then when it's done, it'll dry them. Okay, yeah. That's true. Thank you. What if I don't want them dry back then? Then you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> Plug. <laughs> We what plugged his books. Is banana pew pew? <laughs> Got you. <laughs> look. You can look. I like big boots. People asking questions lie. about your book. You can't be revealing stuff. That book's over. Oh. It's... But it wasn't when they asked that question a year yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah. It's <pretty> <coughs> oh. Yeah. All right. I've yawned like three times during this thing. I'm not tired. <laughs> people always, I, I, that always bugs me. It's like when you yawn, people ask you if you're tired. You know you, you, you yawn sometimes that you're not tired, right? I'm about to yawn because you did. I know, it's contagious. <laughs>